Yeah, I, I, I liked it a lot better. Um, you know, we, we ran more actions. We were still, I think, you know, terrific in isolation, but we ran more actions, got more people involved, had a lot more assists, a lot more balance. Uh, and, and clearly we had, a, you know, a great shooting night as well. Alex Schiffer, The Athletic. Hey, Steve, I got two for you. Just what, what can you say about Kyrie's game? It seemed like on Friday he was a bit passive early on, and it seemed like tonight he was trying to set a tone early and being pretty aggressive at getting to the basket. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's Kyrie Irving. He's, I mean, he, he didn't have a great game last time out. Um, you know, my money's on him anytime after a performance uh, like he had where he couldn't quite get into the game in game three. And so you know, I, I had a good feeling about him tonight and he was outstanding. So I just loved his, uh, his will um, to, you know, to take some of this adversity and, uh, and, and have a great game. He was, he was terrific. And then Nick, it seemed like he gave you guys some good minutes in the first half. You talked about him on having an up and down game on Friday, having to be a, he talked this morning about having to be a quick learner. It seemed like he gave you guys some, some good contributions after Friday. Yeah, I mean, Nick had four blocks in eight minutes. Uh, it was a plus 14. So, you know, it was it was much better. Uh, I thought he was really active and disruptive. Uh, you know, and he, 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 he was really positive for us tonight. So hopefully it's something we can build on. Christian Bloomfield, New York Daily News. Hey, Coach, uh, congratulations on the win. 18 assists for James Harden out there tonight. Uh, what, just what did you see from him and being able to set everybody up? Yeah, I thought he was... Uh, you know, terrific um, vision is, is outstanding and his ability to, to find guys on the, out of the pick and roll or when they doubled, it was great. So it was, it was fun to watch. And, uh, you know, when he's able to pick the gym apart like that, it's pretty special. Malika Andrews, ESPN. Hey, Steve, I'm just wondering, towards the end of the game, what was the calculation in leaving the big three in so late up big? Um, you know, part of it was just it was kind of sloppy at that point, and they were kind of starting to score, and so we just didn't want to take any chances. And then also those guys didn't want to come out, so we just let them go a few more minutes. Well, I would imagine it would be hard to take them out if they don't want to. And then secondly, um, Yes Network showed it looked like Kyrie was walking off the court and a fan threw a water bottle at him. Did you see that at all? I didn't see what happened, no. Okay. Right. Brian Lewis, New York Post. That is what I wanted to ask you about the water bottle. All right, uh, I'm going to switch gears then. Kyrie, you're never surprised when he has a huge game in the playoffs. I'm curious, one, what allowed him to make that switch? I mean, was there something he discerned in the way they were guarding him? Was it more of a mental adjustment? What allowed him to make that switch from game three to game four? And secondly, Nick, as you point out, had four blocks in five minutes, completely changed the game. Um, was there a reason that you didn't go back to him after? Um, uh, I mean, Kyrie was just more aggressive, I thought. He just was determined, and you could see his willpower to score and to affect the game. Um, you know, I think we'd love to play Nick Moore. Um, they went really small a lot, so we just went small with Bruce, and Bruce was really good. Um, you know, for, I thought with Bruce was great tonight, so... Seven rebounds, 14 points in 23 minutes. So it was just a matter of uh, when they were small, we took, took advantage of going really small ourselves.